Hey guys, so today is July the 17th, I believe, and I went into my classroom today and I recorded a classroom setup vlog for my teacher channel, so I thought that I would go ahead and post it on this channel too, and then just attach the regular vlog stuff to this one. On my classroom channel, or my teacher channel, I just put like classroom setup and teaching videos and things like that, so I just put that part of the video on, but this is going to be an entire vlog, but I'm going to add in me at my classroom today. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that now, and then at the end of my classroom vlog, you'll see the rest of our day. Hello everyone. If you're new to my channel, my name's Debbie. I teach second grade. I've been teaching for, this will be going into my 15th year, and this will be my third year in second grade. I taught third grade for several, several years in special ed also. So today I'm getting ready to go to my classroom and start setting up. So I'm in my car right now. I've got like four clear acrylic tables, some stools and some stuff here that I got from the teacher store. I've got that all loaded up. So I don't really know what the agenda is for today, but I know I want to drop off this furniture and go in my room and start doing some sort of organizing. So I thought I would take you guys along. So I'm going to stop at Dunkin Donuts and get a cold brew and then head to the school. Okay, so I just got to my classroom about 15 minutes ago and I'm already hot, sweaty, and out of breath because I had to drag all of my tables in. Now normally I just would have parked, my classroom's right by the parking lot, so I would have parked right by the door and just dropped everything off and it would have been pretty simple, but they're repaving our parking lot and I didn't know that, so I had to go around to the opposite end of the building and drag all the stuff down the hallway. So I brought in my acrylic tables, so the two little ones, two big ones, and then I brought these two stools. They've been in our garage, so they're super dirty and I need to clean them. But anyways, this is what my room looks like right now. I still have some stuff up from the end of the year last year that needs torn down. They brought back in all of the furniture and flexible seating and all that. And then my classroom has built-in shelves, so that's just where I put like a lot of my seating and my bins and things like that. So this is what we've got so far and I'm not sure where I'm going to start. I might start by tearing down all of my bulletin boards because I'm using different stuff this year. So I bought all new bulletin board things. So I'll show you those here in a minute. Okay, so I thought I would do a little haul of all of the stuff that I bought for my bulletin boards and decor. So I got the Home Sweet Classroom set. Um, this is from Teacher Created Resources. So this is the calendar. So I have that here. Move this out of the way. And then there's all these little accent decorations that I got. So I got that big pack. And then I got the big welcome banner, which will go at the top of my bulletin board up there. I got um, the little classroom birthdays poster set. The paper fans. I just thought these were cute. This isn't the home sweet classroom, but I just thought they were cute. I might put them up above my, see how I have those tassels there. I might use them for that, I don't know yet. I got a couple different borders, and then this is the Home Sweet Classroom poster. So, that's what I got. Oh, and then right now I have like this wooden shiplap bulletin board, but I got the white this time. And for some reason there's ants all over my stuff. I think they came from those tables. But anyway, so that's that. Yeah, these were out in the garage, so there's like ants and stuff crawling on them. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so one of my goals coming in today was to get my big bulletin board done. So here's what I've done so far. I tore down almost everything from before. So I still have a couple little decals up there and then a little piece of border from last time I need to get down. But I went ahead and put up my new paper, which the light is reflecting on it. So it looks like it's wrinkly, but it's not. But anyways, I put that up and I have some of my border put up. So I need to finish the border across the top and then here on the sides I have to cut some pieces to make them fit. And then I'll get to start putting up all my other decorations. Alright you guys, I have about an hour until I have to leave and I just not finished my bulletin board but I'm really happy with how it turned out. So here's what it looks like. Um, I should turn the lights off and show you. Hold on a second. Look at all my mess. So I have to clean up all this stuff before I go too. <sighs> that light shining in the windows and the light from the ceiling is just making this really glare. So, let's see if I turn this off if you can see a little bit better. So, here's my bulletin board. So, over on this side, I have the classroom birthdays. And then these are just like some little inspirational things. Learn and achieve, believe, just some little decor. And then I put our welcome banner up, our home sweet classroom sign. 
and then I have this side over here I love the windmill and then this sign I had last year in my room I just moved it over but it was the set goals and crush them sign that I got from Hobby Lobby and of course the border I think that turned out really good so now I've got to start cleaning up some of these messes okay so the next thing I need to do is take these pockets down actually I want to take a picture of them first so I can remember what all jobs I have on here but I use these pockets for classroom jobs and then I would just draw a popsicle stick out and whoever's name got picked got to choose a job so I have all these up here but I bought these so these are the little library pockets that match my theme for this year so I'm gonna write the different jobs on those and the next time I come in I can replace them with these that match everything I have up here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pack these to take home and just snap a picture of these so I can remember all the jobs. So I really wanted to start moving some of my seating around today but they wax the floors and they do not want any scratches on the floor and I feel like they're gonna come and check to make sure that I didn't scratch anything up. So I wanna be really careful. So I probably won't move anything until tomorrow. I'm gonna to bring some rags and like put them under the legs of the table so that if I have just slide something, it's not scratching the floor but I'll show you some of the seating that I'm gonna use this year. We haven't gotten any information about um, how we're gonna set up our classrooms. I have flexible seating, so I'm hoping that I can still use it as long as I maintain social distancing between the kids. So I have, of course, these, and I thought one kid could be at each one of these tables, and then I have some stools back here that you can see up on here that they can use if they sit there. I have Let's see, eight desks, so I have those. I have this table that I can sit kids at. I have this table, I have that table. And then last year I used a lot of different types of flexible seating like lap desks and um, they set up these chairs with clipboards. And I have these chairs that they use with clipboards, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to use those because I want them to be able to be cleaned off easily. So I figure I'll just use the acrylic tables the desks and all my different tables and they can use stools and stuff to set at but I feel like I can spread these things out enough um, I only will have like 15 kids this year so I feel like I can spread those out enough so that I can still use flexible seating and have them distanced but um, anyways I bought on Amazon it should be arriving tomorrow like little seven inch cones and I'm going to use that each morning to lay out to label where the kids can sit so that way they know it's a spot that they're allowed to sit at so I'm going to have those coming and Hopefully tomorrow when I come in, I'll be able to get those seats set out. So we'll see. Okay, I have this bulletin board here, which I'm going to use for my calendar. It's covered up right now with anchor charts that we used at the end of the year. But I have this paper in the background, which I still like it, but I don't know if I should leave that up. I'm going to change the border, but I don't know if I should leave that paper up or order more like that. I'll probably order more so it matches. But I do like this paper, but I've had it up for a couple years, so... I mean, it does have like a couple tears in it and a lot of holes from we hang up our postcards for the postcard exchange here. So I'll probably end up buying some more paper like this board to use for this one and then my little bulletin board in the hallway. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and take off for today. So that's going to be it for today's classroom setup. But I'm hoping to come back tomorrow with my two boys. So that'll be interesting. I wanted to get the bulletin board done. Well, I didn't have them here with me, but I have this TV back here, so I'm going to hook it up probably to my computer and let them watch a Disney Plus movie or something. And then I have kinetic sand and magnet tiles and stuff that they can play with. So next time I'm in, should be tomorrow, I will um, go ahead and record day two, but we will talk to you guys next time. Bye. So I am making the boys grilled cheese sandwich and some other things for dinner because they don't like what Justin and I are having. But I've been making grilled cheese with mayonnaise on one side. Have you guys ever done that? I've just heard about that and it tastes just as good as using butter. But instead of using the butter, you just use mayonnaise for your grilled cheese. But Justin and I are having this dinner that my mom told me about. My camera is fogging up now. Hold on just a second. So it's like peppers and sausage and... Um, Let's see, potatoes and a couple different other things, but it's looking and smelling really good. 
Okay, so I just started this new stuff called Zingular, and it's like a weight loss program. Um, and it's also just for your overall health and energy levels and things like that. But on it, everything is low carb. So um, I figured out a way. You guys know I'm obsessed with iced coffee. So I get this cold brew coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, which has no calories, no carbs. Well, it has like one carb in it for a medium. So I get the cold brew, and then I found this Truvia. And it's just an organic sweetener and it has nothing in it either so no calories no carbs and when i add that into this it tastes almost just like my regular iced coffee okay i forgot to show our dinner when it first came out of the oven but justin is working night shift tonight so i went ahead and packed it for him so this is in his lunch so he has the red peppers green peppers yellow peppers potatoes beef and then you season it with olive oil crushed red peppers, parsley, and oregano. So it turned out really good. I already ate mine. So that was a really good dinner. And it doesn't take very long to put it together. Then you just stick it in the oven. All right, so the boys are out here playing. And they have a bucket of water. And we had this dish soap out here for a slip and slide. But they are using this water as a bug trap, aren't you guys? Yeah. Big bug out of there. Cool. Anyways, we're getting ready to water the flowers. We have this hanging basket, this white one that's really pretty, and we have this one up here. But anyways, my camera's about to die, so I'm going to charge it, and we'll be back. So we're going to water these and plug in this camera battery. All right, I just got the boys in bed, and I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here for tonight so I can get it edited and put up and we will talk to you guys soon. Bye.